are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone. So for all of us over the course of this Taurus new moon monthly cycle, we look at the Sabian symbol that is imbued at the degree point where the sun and moon are conjunct. This month, it's at 16 degrees Taurus. The Sabian symbol imbued at that degree point and flavoring the entire month's storyline for all of us is a battle between the swords and the torches. So this might be swords representing air, and uh, torches representing the fire in the belly, maybe the creative spirit. There might be a battle between head and heart over the course of this month for a lot of people. There might be some controversy, some conflict in the air on the global stage as well. So we'll have to take a look to see how this manifests for us. Pisces, welcome to your May Alchemy Scope 2016. So for those who have tuned in before, this is going to be very different this month. Instead of accessing our message for the unfolding evolutionary trajectory of Pisces-centric scope people over the course of this May 6th Taurus new moon monthly cycle, I'm going to be accessing the field and I'm going to be drawing what's coming. So whatever forms or pictures or images are wanting to come through, that is going to be our message. And I have to say, so you're the last one. I did it in order, which I don't always do every month, but it was important. It was applicable and appropriate that I did it in order of the signs this month with this drawing exercise. And it has been so juicy. It has been so fun so informative and it's come so easily it's just flowed with total least effort so i am thrilled to see what's going to come up for you over the course of this time frame it's going to be a meditative process so i actually invite you to put this on pause and go and get a cup of tea or a glass of wine and actually sit as i channel bring forward the information that is coming through and then I'm going to speak about it, and then I'm going to um, pull a very special uh, oracle card for you that is your guidance, your goddess, and your embodiment this month. Okay, so let's get started. First, let me make sure you can see it. So the drawing's going to be here. Yeah, you can see it perfectly. Great. Now you're going to see elements of the other drawings here, which is completely fine because... In some instances, um, they have one, one drawing might lead to another drawing, feed into it. And so that may or may not happen here. And when it happens, it's appropriate. When it doesn't happen, it's not. So it's all good. So Pisces. Pisces.
So Pisces, one thing that I'll say is that there's some construction that you may not hear on the camera. I hope you don't, but my point is is that it was really quiet this morning and then um, during the Aquarius reading, there was some kind of distant construction that started, which actually I do think was, um, well, I know that it was connected to what is kind of constructing, reconstructing for Aries, but because it's still continuing, logically, they're starting construction, they're doing construction, not a big deal, but there's no accident why I picked this time of day to actually do your reading. And so I just want to point that out because there is some construction that is actively underway that's already begun for, for you, Pisces, that probably in previous months, the last few months. And that construction in May is still activated. And this is what I'm talking about is a construction of self. So there's some radical reconfiguration is what I want to say for a lot of you out there for a lot of you out there I don't know if you can see that actually. I have to look. been fascinating it's absolutely been such a delicious process to just follow what what wants to come it's been so wonderful absolutely fascinating because I wasn't sure you know I've been getting this uh, insight for so long now it's been I was telling the other signs it's been at least since December and I even think probably November so it's been since last let's say fall winter that I have um, that I have uh, wanted to do this and um, and it was right after that actually that Vicki Verley reached out for that uh, artist creative spirit interview which was perfect it was just completely aligned because I, it had the creative process has come back into my mm, field of in my psyche um, very strongly in the last I don't know since summer. But then it was so clear that to actually do automatic drawing to channel form to channel symbol to channel story was exactly what was needing and desiring was optimal to come forward so it's um it's just been fabulous because I wasn't sure how it was going to go even though I'd gotten these insights I knew it was the right thing quote unquote the right thing the optimal thing but uh yeah it's just just fabulous just fabulous All right, let me make sure you can see. Yeah, you can see everything perfectly. Pretty good. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh. okay. 
So in some of the um, previous um, drawings, uh, the previous uh, channeled sessions with the signs, um, there were creatures that, that came, well, yeah, and uh, this is wanting to come as well, it's really, it's amusing me. <laughs> little too much there. Pisces, Pisces. Well, I'm going to want to adjust myself here. So I'm going to start talking about it. Actually, uh, it's not quite done, I don't think. I feel like I'm still going to want to play here, but I feel like I'm ready to talk about it, which is interesting because that's not been the case with the others. There was only one other where the explanation was happening as I was really kind of still taking pencil to paper. Typically what's happened is I've, uh, the drawing wanted to come in full and then the analysis, but this is really essentially close to done. I can feel it. So this is just details. So let's talk about it because it's interesting. And what I've done, Pisces, is I'm talking kind of about um, what comes first well, as appropriate, I'm I'm take, talking about what comes first and then what came, you know, second, etc. Because I think that's speaking to the story, the progression. And the first thing that came, if you remember, were these three spheres. And then this kind of platform, these, these horizontal lines here, and then the platform... And then the legs, so it, uh, it was becoming a chair, very evident to me. It was, it was feeling like a chair. It was starting with these three spheres as like the backing. This was like a throne. That's what it felt like, a throne. And this felt almost like, again, and I've had this come up with at least two other signs. There's almost like an Egyptian feel to some of the imagery that's coming through, which is really not my gig. Like, it's not that I don't appreciate Egyptian artworks and certainly culture and mythology, but it's different. It's just not something I typically tap into. So, for Egyptian symbology of any you know, sort to come through is just fascinating because it's just not in my direct consciousness. So it's perfect for what we're doing here. So for some reason, Egypt, ancient Egypt and kind of ancient royalty, to be quite frank, is coming through. So there's this kind of this, it's like there's an elevation, a maturation of the spiritual journey of many people at this time and it feels like May because we're tapping into our May 6th through approximately June 5th time frame this monthly new moon cycle there is a deep spiritual uprooting and recognition and reassimilation that's going on there's just no question about it there's just no question the beautiful thing though Pisces for you is this turned into a bit of a toad, but really this became almost like foo dog feet 
here. So it's almost like the chair, which started as something kind of royal and with these big, like almost a sun disc representation, and then almost became a gong because there's these these uh, wiggly lines here that wanted to come, almost representing some activation, like a vibration of a gong. Because actually, the more I'm looking at this, this really is like a gong. But it started as almost, it, it felt like it was becoming a chair. But really, that's not, that's not really ultimately what it is. However, I am feeling like this royal, ancient, and I picture it gold. You know, it's like you're activating your vibration, your frequency, your sound of you as an ancient creature, an ancient form, an ancient royal being. And then there's the eyes that wanted to come and then like this mouth and now it's looking like a toad <laughs> and you know the food dog legs of the of the bench of the seat of this throne became <laughs> like toad legs like little frog legs so there's something what i love about this for you pisces is, <laughs> is that there's something quite whimsical i mean for a lot of you out there it's like <laughs> what i want to say is that you're accessing your sense of humor in a new way so it's like yes your third eye is activated you're like a big gong you're emanating your frequency there is this royalty there's an ancient wisdom there's a a deep rooted spiritual reality and you're smiling and you have the googly eyes and you have your cute little feet you know and you have the broad smile i mean look at what happened the seat of the platform the seat of the throne became this big smile it became a big smile so there's something here and you're kind of looking up you can see the eyes here are kind of um and it's interesting because the eyes were were originally looking forward and then they they changed they changed and so now they almost feel like they're first of all, relaxed, but almost gazing upward. And so for me, Pisces, for you in May, I'm quite fascinated by this. And I'm really amused by it because other than cancer, this is the most whimsical of any of the, the images that came through. So for a lot of Pisces, this is a general reading, just like with the cards, we're talking about a, we're tapping into the Piscean evolutionary process. So this will apply to those of you who are, for example, if you have a Pisces ascendant and you are evolving, transmutating, moving through a great maturation process with your perspective, your point of view, that this is gonna be speaking to your perspective shifts underway. If you're a Pisces sun, this will resonate, excuse me, if you have um, personality and ego shifts that are most playing out for you. If you have a Pisces moon, then emotionally, this is going to be the storyline most likely playing out for you. Now, again, these are general readings. So your particular soul story is very distinct to you. And I invite you to be in touch. In fact, I haven't put out that I'm offering these personalized drawings, but I, I'm certainly going to add it to my list of services that I offer because I think this is f just just so fabulous it's bringing up so much detail so for the general storyline for the evolutionary process for pisces yes there is a grounding with your spiritual nature there is an emanation of a new frequency you're tapping into a deeper like almost a deeper tone of your frequency dear pisces and you're emanating it it's coming out it's vibrating out from your your being and then within this kind of royal, knowing, wise, rooted way of being, here you are looking up, seeing the truth of things. You have a big smile. You're ready to activate humor, laughter, a sense of humor. There is something 
where you're able to actually grasp on to a lighter way of being. Now, I am kind of guided to say this as well, that for some of you, and Pisces, you know, you know this, you already know this, that Pisces can be very out there and, and really kind of, it's almost like because when things get out of hand, when things get stirred and there's a bit of a chaos soup that's playing out, uh, there can be an extreme amount of disconnection that occurs and Pisces can, can house that way of being very well so that there's this disconnection. So it's almost like you go into an angelic realm or you go into some belief system that disconnects you. It ungrounds you from your wisdom, your depth of knowing, your discernment. So for some of you, this is speaking to, yes, this is going to be activated for you over the course of the cycle. And for some of you, what I want to say is that keep grounded, you know, don't disconnect from your earthbound reality to the point where you're not present because you know what I'm no I am noticing I will say I'm noticing more and more and more people are just out of their minds like just losing it they're losing touch with reality and indeed <laughs> reality is transmutating and it is mutable reality is mutable that's the nature of it and so the more it could be especially for you it could be that you're connecting so much with the mutability of nature that you are losing your grounding. So for some of you, you might feel a little airy and ditzy and flighty, flaky this month. And what I would say to you is connect with nature. Walk barefoot on the earth. Put your back against a tree. Meditate and ground. Ground into reality. Because there are beautiful things about this reality, this 3D reality. And it could be that this month is going to test you a bit. It's like, yeah, you're going to go more into a spiritual uh, place, but it could be at the risk of disconnection that actually becomes then not the evolved human way. It's not the evolved human to go into spirit and disconnect from the human condition. That's not the story. The story is for us to be spirit in matter, even though matter might be a hologram. That's not the point. The point is our experience is the matter. So it's a matter of grounding. So I really, that really wanted to come. So Pisces, for, for a lot of you, I'm going to say, I really do invite you to stay grounded. And to do that, the easiest way to do that is uh, via nature. Nature is your grounding helper. Always, always, always. Beautiful. So I'm going to wipe my hands here and I'm going to pull up a beautiful uh, card for you from the wild Kuan Yin Oracle card deck. And what I've said in some of the other scopes is that this was really not a deck that I had a desire to use on YouTube at all. And the reason being is that it's powerful and it's it's been important for me. And so I've been using it for my own use as a sacred tool. And uh, I have a feeling I'm not going to use this regularly at all. But uh, this did call to come forward this month for all of you, for the scopes. So this is something typically I use for private clients and for myself. Now, let's tap in. So, for Pisces, what is the guidance, the goddess, and the embodiment for Pisces over the course of this Taurus New Moon monthly cycle? Pisces, what is your guidance? What is your goddess? 
What is your embodiment? That felt like two wanted to come, actually. I'm feeling like I might pull two for you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. You know what? That's interesting. These two wanted to come. Typically, I wouldn't do that. But it was clear. Well, I will say, this you were the only one over the course of this month that wanted to get two. The first one that came for you is number 42, She Tames by Laying Down the Staff and the Rope. I'm going to read this to you. So stay tuned for that meditation. The second card from the Wild Kuan Yin Oracle deck is number 25, Blessing to Begin. Very amazing, this. Especially the combination of the two. So stay tuned, Pisces. I am going to um, read these to you so you can tune in and appropriately ride the beautiful wave of this May 2016 new moon cycle with optimal flow and least effort. Pisces, she tames by laying down the staff and rope. This is your guidance from Quan Yin. My ways prevail. I subjugate the lower to the higher without any force. Through my ways, correct alignment to the higher divine order is established. My authority is supreme, yet I've no need to enforce it. Devotion to me is absolute yet I bestow freedom. I show you now the whispering way to tame great force. I initiate you into the way of strength without coercion, the way of attraction without demand. Follow me and learn the art of feminine power. That fear shall always succumb to love. Pisces, the second guidance from Quan Yin you received was blessing to begin. And this is what Quan Yin says. Accepting my blessing and help will not create dependency or prevent you from taking responsibility for applying yourself to a task. My gifts simply amplify the results of your efforts. I do this because I am invested in your success. It will bring happiness to more people than you realize, and your desires and mine are in perfect accord. You have what it takes within you to bring a precious and sacred idea to life. I would like to help you push off from the earth, giving some lift for those first few steps to set your manifestation in motion. Sustaining the momentum takes less energy than getting it started. It is important to me that this impulse in you comes to life, for I was the one that planted the desire in your heart in the first place. Let me gift you with ignition, energy for the beginning. You have my blessing to begin. Mm. 